what's good man uh we got some news uh or i got some commentary to do basically on Lil Durk and his uh, father and Larry Hoover. Um, apparently, his dad did a podcast and he was, you know, talking about his case. We do know that he did like a lot of time uh, while, you know, Lil Durk was growing up. He, he's been locked up the majority of Lil Durk's life. Lil Durk raps about this on several different songs. Now, his dad is on the G GD side of things, man, um, and is affiliated directly with Larry Hoover. Now, he spoke about this candidly on the podcast. He talked about how the feds wanted him to actually roll over on Larry Hoover. He, you know, just discusses what took place and how he ended up getting his 26 years and um, how he remained solid. Check out what uh, Big Dirk had to say. Here we go. But that actually transpired. Well, actually, I was on my way. 26 in California to go to a court proceeding. So as soon as I was walking up the stairs to go through the doors, the feds was coming out the door and they grabbed me right then and there. Took me to another side door, right out the back behind the building, into a car and shot me down there on Van Bruin to the federal court building. They put me in this interrogation room and it was a couple of agents in there. It was the U.S. attorney in there. And they said, listen, because I have a driver who brought me there and dropped me off at the front of the place. And he wouldn't park the car. They said, listen, don't nobody know that we got you right now. No one. They said, we'll put you right back on 26 and your driver don't even know you going already. We'll put you back on 26 if you give us Larry Hoover. I said, what? I said, you give us Larry Hoover, we'll put you back on 26 and you'll work for us. I went in my pocket, pulled out the car to my lawyer, slid it on the table and said, call my lawyer. And from there on, 26 years later, here I am, free man, without telling, without compromising, without being someone I'm not, rats, stool pigeons, you know, people who tell things to get out, you know, this is the type of life, we don't live this type of life. You know, I'm a Muslim first and foremost, no doubt about it, but even in Islam, we don't believe in telling, we don't believe in rats, we don't believe in stool pigeons. So for someone to try to tell you to tell on somebody else to save your own neck and all this, you get in this thing, you hold your own weight. You know, that's how people got to look at it. I'm in this and I hold my own weight. You don't bring nobody else into this. You don't tell on nobody else to save your own skin. Get out of it. That's not your lifestyle. That's not what you're about. Get up out of it, you know? When the thing hits, when it hit, the impact come in, you continue to stand strong. And you continue to go down for what you believe in. And don't bring nobody else down with you. You know, I like that love. I think it's um, Jeezy. Um, I like the little saying he said in his little rap song, if you ever get caught up, don't mention my name. You know, that's just one of the slogans I like. You know, and that's one thing that people should take as an anthem. You get jammed up, don't mention my name. Don't mention nobody's name. Just do you, you know. Now there you have it from Big Dirk's own mouth, man. It seems like Big Dirk, or not even seems like, it's apparent that Big Dirk is cut from a different cloth as well as he come from a different era of the streets. Now, not only is he saying this is about his street ties, but it's also about, you know, his religion as well, man. Um, Just not turning over, standing on all 10 and not actually rolling over because at the end of the day we know what we signed up for we know what we getting into when we get into some of these different things that we be involved in in the streets and then it's crazy how you know somebody one minute can be all in when it comes to what they're involved in and then in the next breath or the next minute you pointing the finger to try to get less time so you can come home man and it seems like you know more now than ever because it's always been an element of people who actually did this names on paperwork sent people down and everything but it seems like now it's being accepted in certain corners or certain pockets of the culture 
people are making excuses for actually dealing with certain people who we know sent other people to you know send other people down or whatever uh, making excuses people as kids or you know things like that man but at the end of the day you know from the moment i jumped off the porch and i jumped off the porch early i knew what i was getting involved in and i knew the consequences but i always looked at it like hey i'm a juvenile if i get knocked i'm a you know they only gonna lock me up for so long and then as an adult even catching cases as an, as an adult you know i never ever in my life been on any paperwork i've never told on nobody i've never you know gave up any information i never cooperated every time i got knocked i stood on all 10 so i don't respect anybody that tells under any circumstances man but that's just me uh salute the big dirt though man it seems like hopefully this wisdom is being bestowed upon Lil Dirk, man. Hopefully he has a lot of his dad in him, man. I really like Lil Dirk, man. I ain't gonna cap. Uh, definitely one of my favorite artists. I wanna see Dirk win, but I wanna see a lot of the Chicago artists win on all sides, GD, BD, or whatever it is, man. I I have no, I don't pick a size when it comes to, you know, that situation, man. Um, I thought that it was, you know, just as crazy when fbg passes when vine pass you know what i mean so you know i ain't into that or none of that man you know i really want to see all of us win at the end of the day but get in the comment section let me know what y'all think about this i'm a mighty the ruler make sure you hit that like share and subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time i upload new content